SPD7693 is working on a megawatt. Here's map 1 at home. 75, 3, and 14. He's got, uh, I don't know, half a dozen maps or something like that. But they're not in order. It's not like 1 through 6, so... Actually, that's uh, the approach I've been taking on the megawatt I've been working on. Not doing them in order. This looks like Doom Builder. I mean, these are all the default textures in Doom Builder. Hey, stop surviving. Okay. Okay. Seventy five, three, fourteen. Yeah, this doesn't seem very well polished so far. Now you've got weird alignments. Not a secret. Big staircase. I appreciate that there's a little attention to lighting on the staircase here. Oh, goodness. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just a, a boring room here. No lighting. No, uh... Besides these little ledges. No height differentials. I mean, the entire room is the same floor and ceiling height. Got a door here and a door here. The doors aren't even the right height, and sometimes you don't have to make doors the proper height, but some heights just don't look great. This actually doesn't look that bad. Um, however, I don't even think this is 128 wide. It looks like it's slightly less than that. This one just looks weird, the height of it. Alright. Now just open a door, there's the monster. Alright, we'll grab that now. Oh, there's another chain gun. Oh, he's dead. Okay. There's custom music. I think newer mappers tend to try to get too realistic a lot of the times. Like here we're trying to create this living room type setting or whatever the case is. Maybe there's some sort of lobby. Well, you know, it's called at home, right? So this is the house. So this is a massive living room. And then maybe this is your dining room, and you got these chairs here that look okay, but not great. <clears throat> I mean, it's worth noting that Doom 1, Doom 2 didn't really do anything all that realistic. Very occasional realistic stuff. Even the supposedly realistic settings don't try that hard to give you that. So... good to realize that it just doesn't always work. Now this is uh, GZ Doom, so... Or it's, no, this is GL Boom, so... A lot of things are possible. As far as getting the micro... Ooh. Getting the micro detailing down so that things look legit. I mean, here you've got a big king-size bed. Doesn't look great with just Doom textures and... You know, let's see. Perfect rectangle, which... It's understandable for vanilla, but this is boom. <clears throat> Alright, what am I looking for? Here? Another door. Okay. 
Okay. Here we've got a kitchen, I suppose. Refrigerator, maybe. Rocket launcher in the fridge. I'm cool with that. Wow, that's a lot of... <laughs> There's an exit. That's kind of cool. You can go out the window or you can go out the door. How many secrets are there? I got two out of three. Yeah, this never seems to open. So obviously wood, this wood really dominates, the fence is the same as the walls, and not really a transition texture up there. Um, <clears throat> you know, little things, like, uh, these appear to be steps, and yet they're grass? And they're perfect rectangles? Great place to do a different lighting, it seems like the lighting in the whole map is pretty much the same. There was a little bit on that staircase where it was different, but we don't have... We have very few light sources in this whole map. We have very little going on with the ceiling. It's all just flat ceiling, whatever texture that is. <clears throat> um, yeah, I was going to mention the geometry is not really that bad. I mean, we've got some different shapes going on. Outside was just one big rectangle, but besides that, you don't ever really feel like the mapper just threw rectangles together. But yeah, so here's your bedroom, and I guess that's your dresser then. But yeah, very crude representations of of realism here. Um, all that being said, combat wasn't terrible. Out here is kind of odd. You just open exposed area and keep shooting. Keep waiting for infighting. <clears throat> but yeah, it's an opener. We'll see what's next. So yeah, obviously the thing about doing a megawatt is if you haven't been mapping for a long time then uh, the first maps are going to be a lot worse than the later maps, and then that could cause frustration, that could cause one to abandon the project, etc, etc. I think it's wise that SPD is uh, not doing them in order, because, you know, a player's going to play map 1, and if that's terrible, and map 2 is terrible, map 3 is terrible, they, they may never get to map 28, which was finally when you were good at mapping, and, you know, you know so... Um, I think it's wise to not do them in order. Um, you know, people will often say, don't just don't do a megawatt. I think it just depends on the patience of the individual. Are you going to have the patience? Are you going to have, you know, to realize how long it takes for one thing? And uh, also, are you going to be able to cut ties with these nostalgic maps? Because, you know, a year from now, when SPD has grown in mapping, it's going to come back to map one and say, well, this is terrible um, compared to my current standards, so what do I do with it? Do I try to spice it up? Do I replace it entirely? Do I just scratch this whole megawatt idea and do something else? So those are the questions that you have to be prepared to answer down the road. Um, my personal advice is don't mess with the maps every time you improve. So it's like, oh, now I now I have a better handle on how to do lighting. Don't go back to map one and map whatever and add lighting. And then you realize, oh, you know what? I've got a better handle on, on how to place monsters. Don't go back and redo all your monsters and all the old maps. My advice is if you're going to do a megawad this way, just make more maps. Decide a year from now if this map one is good enough. The answer is going to be no. 
and then decide, do I scrap it or do I fix it up? But don't f keep fixing it up every time you think you've improved in some aspect of mapping. That would be my advice. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm certainly curious to see what else we've got here in this wad so far.